what is going on guys so got a package that came in today this particular package is from african imports let's get into it so i got four fragrances that came from them today let's check these out first i'm going to cut some pieces of tape and wrap around the edges of the label so just in case i waste a little bit of oil it won't ruin the label if you end up ordering from them i suggest you do the same it keeps your label from fading and helps you to be able to identify what the fragrance is. So as you can see here, I actually got a piece of tape wrapped around here. It's not super perfect looking, but it'll at least protect the label. So that way I can always identify what the fragrance is. I made a mistake in having like a bunch of lights wrapped around my casing, my display case. And some of that lighting was fading my label. Uh, so I believe me doing this as well will help that out as well as getting rid of those lights or at least dimming those lights a little bit. The fragrances we got, of course, is Nausicaa Rodriguez, Lu Noir, Clinique Happy, YSL Y, La Parfum, as well as Steel Sugar. As you can see, there's a little bit of discoloration already on the label. This was from shipment. Uh, as soon as it arrived, it had a little bit of that on there. So that's why it's important for me to put my labels uh, tape my labels down so that way I can always identify what the fragrance is. I have quite a few of African import oils, so I can't be affording to mix anything up. This whole back row here, back three rows, that's all African import oils. These are my four ounce bottles of African import oils. I have about a good maybe eight, nine of these. So as you can see, we got quite a few of those, so we don't, we don't need any mix ups. First one I want to try out is Steel Sugar. I have a little bit of it right here on my hand. I already placed the oils on my hand. I wanted them to kind of settle down a little bit. This one kind of has like a sweet, smoldery, uh, slightly metallic, amber kind of a vibe going on. It's warm, uh, kind of sensual. The metallic vibe that I'm catching is really balanced. It's not really loud or or really sharp or anything like that. It smells like a sweeter version of Blue de Chanel. Like a Blue de Chanel had a little bit more sweetness and a little bit more warmth and just a slightly metallic vibe or a balanced metallic vibe. It, that's what it reminds me of. That's really interesting. I could see that being in the spring, fall, though summer, I don't know, but the winter I would probably pull it out as well. Let's try this one. YSL, Y La Parfum. I have that one right here. What I love about the YSL fragrance is it has like this boozy component to it, but it's like a white boozy. Normally, whenever I smell a fragrance, I'm like, oh, that got like a little boozy quality. Usually like a cognac, a rum or something like that, that I'm catching. But this one, um, but this one has more of a, like a, like a, a white liquor, like a vodka kind of a vibe that it has to it. It just smells like a white boozy versus a, a dark one. The citruses or some of the brighter, fresher components to this smell almost fermented. It smells like a, I don't wanna say spoiled, but like an aged or a fermented citrus vibe. Like that boozy quality is coming from the alcohols that's produced from these citruses that's been just sort of sitting. That's what it smells like. Super interesting, soapy, clean, fresh, uh, boozy, has like this fermented, uh, bubbly sort of a uh, aged vibe to it as well. A little bit of sweetness in there, but not a whole lot. Really bright, vibrant, uh, projects extremely well. Even as a, a parfum, to me, this one's gonna jump off of that skin very easily. And I like that color on that too. Very dark, deep coloration on that, on that, uh, on that oil. It's really nice. Next up, Clinique Happy. I have that one right here. That is good. I heard a guy ranting and raving about this one in a store, and I see why. This is just a really enjoyable freshie. You get some freshies, and it's like, okay, it's fresh, and it's just like, I. Right, but with this one, it's really enjoyable. There's something really joyful about this one. To me, Happy is a perfect name for this fragrance. It's, it's simplistic. It's not doing anything crazy or new under the sun. But just the way that it's done is blended. The right amount of sweetness. The right, the right amount of opulence. Uh, citrus components. Woody components. 
um it's just it's just a really nice and just joyful fragrance there's a little bit of like this almost uh this pink sweetness that i'm catching it just comes off almost slightly pink if, if that makes sense something it's not bubble gummy but there's something in it that just smells like a like a pink sweetness i don't know if it's a floral component that's coming in and providing it maybe a jasmine an ambergris but there's like a really perfumey pretty sweetness that comes in and really smooth this out it's nice and creamy along with those other components ah it's so good yo that is a good fragrance and i'm gonna be happy to put that on <laughs> as redundant as that sound i'll be truly happy to wear this but neek happy that's a winner and lastly this was a recommendation by my boy Tari over at Chill Mode. Narciso Rodriguez, Blue Noir. He sent me a sample of the actual fragrance and I checked it out and I agree with him that this thing was a stunner. It was dark, it was woody, it was clean, it was mysterious, creamy, it was, it had all those components and it was done in a very balanced and just laid back way. He's a huge fan of fragrances that aren't necessarily obnoxious, fragrances that are a bit more toned down, laid back, but still has a presence, uh, able to be dense, but at the same time, not overpowering. And to me, this hits it right on the nose. I got this fragrance right here on top of my wrist. And it is, it's just gorgeous. It's also a fragrance that reminds me again of like that Blue Death Chanel uh dna not sure which one of these fragrances came first but that same sort of uh outline or guideline with that fragrance and how it's set up that's what you're getting here you're getting something that's going to be extremely office safe uh woody got a nice freshness to it slight soapiness to it uh some creaminess that's gonna appeal more so for the nightlife or like that date night Kind of a vibe but this one can also be translated in the daytime office wear i can wear this in the spring i can wear this on summer nights i wouldn't do this in the summer in the daytime fall and winter it's just super nice though it's just a really nice and i believe this is going to be a fragrance that projects well that's going to be able to catch somebody's nose very easily um especially if you build up a little bit of body heat you got this on maybe on the base of the neck on the chest if you got this on the bend of the elbows you're going to catch somebody's attention so far these are four w's i haven't smelled any any of these that i'm just like nah this is cool i i can sleep on this one all of these smell excellent uh like i said i love going through african imports because i can find a fragrance that may be a little bit higher in price point or that i simply just unsure about if i want to pull the trigger on and i'm able to sample it at a at a lower cost point and get creative you know i can take this and make you know a 10 ml spray out of a little bit of this and i can open it up a little bit more see if i agree with that dna see if that dna is something that i would even care about having in my collection if i want to i can get creative mix and match some things make my own little hybrids my own little weird concoctions and stuff like that and it just allows me to be a bit more creative for a lower cost cost point all four of these this would have cost me roughly around maybe 28 30 dollars uh excluding shipping shipping probably would have put this up to about maybe 40 45 so i get four oils one ounce bottles shipped for maybe around 40 45 dollars that's not too bad i will drop the link to african imports where you guys can check out their website they have a huge selection huge selection they're constantly adding in new fragrances it, whether it be niche whether it be designer men's women's unisex and they also have some traditional exotics that they have in their collections as well you'll find some singular fragrances in there where you just find like lemon or bergamot coffee or cranberry different you know singular fragrance notes as well just a wide variety to choose from listen and that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i will catch you guys soon peace